All right, let's say now that you have an assignment, you've typed your assignment, it's ready. So how do we go about now inserting the table of contents as well as the, 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 the title page or the cover page for this assignment? In our case, this assignment is um, titled Report to Shareholders. In order to do an automated table of contents, we're going to make use of the styles over here that are on the home tab of your Microsoft Word. All right, so what I have to do is to change whatever or style, whatever that I want to be part of the table of content using the various styles here. And then I would also love to have the headings as um, on, on my table of contents. So I will take the first heading there, the renovations, you can give it any style that you want to. So for mine here, I'm going to give it a heading wine style. Okay, just fix it to my liking also. Okay, and then I will do the same for others by making use of the format painter there. Okay, so I will also have all have the same formatting with heading one style. And there we have it, reservations, room rates, and occupancy. If you're not sure how I'm going about making them have the um, same formatting, I'm making use of the format painter then. So what I do, I click on the formatting that I want to copy, and then I click on the format painter, the, then the mouse cursor is carrying a paintbrush. So whatever that I select while I still have that paintbrush, will have the same formatting. So you will notice guest profiles will now change color. It will also have, head, have heading one and be bolded after I paint over it. Revenue, same on operation cost and expenses. We will do the same with shares. I also want the same with facing a feature with confidence. And that was the last subheading. So now I don't, I no longer want to make use of that format paint on the keyboard. I'm going to press ESC. Okay, so I will go back and put my insertion point on the left of report to shareholders, my title them. So I'm going to create a title, a table of content page. How do I go about doing this? On the references tab, there the very First button there is table of contents. Okay? Um, it's a split button because it has an arrow on the right hand side. So that means that it has different styles of table of contents. So I will click on the arrow. You'll see that you can have contents, table of contents, table of contents in various ways. I think I'm going to go to automatic table two. I will select the second one there. Okay? So when you do that, then it automatically creates table of contents for you. So you will see that it has picked up everything that I have given a certain style. So, and then also I would love the title to start on the second page. All right. So while I am still on report to shareholders, I don't want the title to be on the same page as the table of contents. I rather want that, um, title to start on page two okay so what i'm going to do now is throw it on a new page my insertion point is still at the beginning of the title so that when i insert a page break it knows that it needs to break a page right there so i'm going to go to the insert tab now and then say break page so it's on the pages grouping break page and then now the first page contains table of contents and the second page um, is the one that starts with the title of this po project or report. All right, so now I want to have a cover page. Okay, so with the insert tab again, the first option on the page is grouping is to insert a cover page. So I'm going to go and click them and then I will select the one that I want, okay? So let me not go far, I will go for this one here, and there I have a cover page. With this one, it doesn't matter where your insertion point was, 
when you inserted this since it knows that a cover page has to be on the first page then it will go there okay and then this will be the title obviously of your document we can say report give it the name report obviously it will it can be anything and if you have any subtitle then you can type it there if you don't have it you can just delete that part if you don't have a subtitle if you have it this is where you will type it okay and then the abstract this will be a summary of what this report is about if you don't want it there you don't have to have it you can just select it and also delete it okay you don't really have to have it but if you do want to put a summary of this um <clears throat> project there, if it's required then you can put it in and then the author then you can write your names there and then if it's this is an university assignment then obviously you will also have to include your student number as part of the title okay so now we our assignment is ready we have the title page or the cover page we have table of contents and then so on and then another thing okay just notice remember we moved report to shareholders to the second page but when we created um the table of content that was on the first page so we need to go and update this okay renovations was on the first page renovations is now on the second page it's on page two so when you made any changes you added some subtitle let's say on the last page you decided to include some subheading and type some more so that means every time you add on your assignment or your report and then you go to the home tab and then you decide to give any of the headings or subheadings a, a, a style then you can always go back to your table when you get to your table as soon as you click anywhere on that table on the top left hand corner you're going to see um icon that says update table notice that oh, now the renovations is on page one and then if i say update table and i'm say update page number only or update the entire table we can say update the entire table this will be according to your preferences and then we say okay then it updated that renovations has now moved to page two you will see before we had one two two three and after updating now it's two three three so it did update that renovations is now on page two from page one and the seasonal and group promotions which was on page two is now on page three Okay, that is all about inserting table of contents in the cover page.